journeys. We all take them. Short ones, longer ones, fast tracks, slow treks, lifelong journeys, strung together end to end. They define who we are, how we see ourselves, how we interact with the world around us, who and what we become. At my computer career, we are focused on one particular journey. The path taken by our students from the moment they become aware that a career in information technology could fit into their lives to the moment they leave that notion behind, whether that happens in hours or days or at the end of decades. For some, the journey is short. A quick trip to the website a single conversation. Thank you. A visit to campus. Hi. Till they decide the path to success is too difficult, too inconvenient, too costly, or just not right. But for others, the journey continues, involving many pieces and players, requiring time, commitment, persistence, and sometimes pain. It's peppered with small victories. Sometimes disappointing defeats, but almost always with triumphant ends. It is to these students, those with true desire and a willing heart, that we devote our concentrated and consistent effort to their success that we give our all. Why? Because we too are on a journey, a journey with a common goal, to give, to serve, to teach, and support another human being on his or her pathway to a better, more prosperous, more satisfying life. This is the purpose that binds our team together as co-workers, as colleagues, and as friends. These are the journeys of my computer career. I'm amazed and so grateful when I see how far we've come since we began this journey less than a decade ago. From one campus, we now have eight, plus an online program that will in a short time probably eclipse them all. From one program, we now have several. From a half dozen employees working out of a small home-based office, we're now over 150 strong, spread across five states and in eight campuses, and our corporate office in Holly Springs that we're continuously outgrowing. I believe there are two reasons for our success. First, we have a worthy mission and vision. We really are committed to changing people's lives for the better, and not just temporarily, but generationally. That's big, and it makes what we do important work. Second, we've been blessed. I think that's because notwithstanding our weaknesses and shortcomings, we really are working hard to do the right things and in the right ways. And God magnifies our efforts for that. So in that short time, through a serious recession and at a time when for-profit schools like ours are dropping like flies, we've grown from a couple of million dollars in sales in our first year to over 20 million in our most recent year. We've gotten accredited, qualified for Title IV funds for our students, qualified for the GI Bill, and so much more. So far, we've kept our focus, kept to our vision, and the results speak for themselves. Each of you, Every employee, whether you've been here for only a few weeks, a few years, or from the very beginning, is an important player in our story. And you each contribute to the success of our students in their life-changing journeys every day, directly or indirectly, depending on your role. It's that contribution that we're here to illuminate and to celebrate. Thank you, all of you, for all you do to make my computer career the special place it is.
Each employee has a vital role in the journey our students take in their new careers in IT. Let's explore that student journey from beginning to new beginning and celebrate the dedication and service of an extraordinary team. Every enrollment begins with a dream. A dream that's born in the mind and heart of a prospective student who dares to see the future as something not defined by the past, who somewhere, somehow, finds hope in possibility. Going to the bakery, they ended up having me be the office manager instead of having anything to do with actually baking. And uh, it was really discouraging, and it was disappointed. Um, and I asked so many times if I could just be taught, if I could do it here or there, any, you know, just random times. And it was always a no. And uh, that's, I ended up just rethinking, okay, let's go at a different angle, because this isn't working out, obviously. <laughs> I heard the MyCC commercial, <laughs> that awesome commercial, you know, uh, if, are you on your way to a job? That sucks. <laughs> I love that commercial. Um, and uh, ended up checking it out and it just fell into place, everything. It all begins with awareness. We have to get the attention of that discontented soul who yearns for a better life. And there are lots of them out there. But just grabbing attention isn't enough. The job of a good advertisement is threefold. To capture the attention of those in our target market, to convert that attention to genuine interest, and finally, to get the prospect to take some kind of action. If your job is a downer and you think the exciting field of computers could be for you, go online to mycomputercareer.edu right now and take the free career evaluation. Every ad we put out there, whether it's on the radio, TV, internet, or print, is carefully designed to do all three. And everyone on our marketing team has a role to play in how effectively we do that. Without this all-important beginning, there is no journey. Every prospect we fail to effectively move is a journey untaken, a success story untold, lives unchanged. For me, it's a constant challenge. How can we reach these people in their hour of need when they're ready to make a change and move them to action before the moment passes? I must have heard those, um, I must have heard those advertisements a million times and never, it never really, it was water off a rock, you know, but I guess at some point uh, my ears kind of perked up to the message a little bit and I thought, well, here's a good, here's a good opportunity. And so I, I did a little bit of research and uh, contacted a young lady that was in uh, the Carolina uh, location. And next thing you knew, I took off for Dallas, knocked on the door and said, here we go, let's go. For those who do take action, a My Computer Career journey begins. And for most, their first interaction with one of us is over the phone. The first person our prospective students meet at My Computer Career is most often a career advisor in our contact center. This encounter can take place on the phone or now over the internet with our online chat. Either way, the career advisor has the awesome responsibility of nurturing a seed of curiosity or interest into a budding flower of action. To do that, they have to create a safe, welcoming environment, establish trust, and often counter the powerful emotions of skepticism, self-doubt, and fear. These negative emotions undermine ambition and stop many dead in their tracks. In short, we gotta get a show. Sometimes that's a tall order, and that's why we call them Team Awesome. Um, my first contact with my computer career person was actually on the phone, um, and just calling because I took the test online. And at first I wasn't that serious about it. I was kind of like, well, I'm not so sure. I just took a weird test online and you know, not sure if I'm uh, gonna sign up for school or have my kidney stolen or something. But <clears throat> called me on the phone, which I thought was outstanding uh, to reach out to us that quick. I see um, the career advisors as the catalyst for change in so many people's lives that we get in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. By not having the pressure of being salesmen, 
it actually opens a door for us to be um, true motivators of life change and promote those changes. And so what I try to bring to the table with my team is make sure that the information that you give them, the conversations that you have are constantly relevant and relational. We need to develop a rapport with them so that they can trust us. But we also want to make sure any information that we give them is pertinent to their personal situation. And then just ask, like, if I wanted to go see the campus, what were my goals? Um, just right from the get-go started to, to sell me on the idea of moving into the IT field. Um, a lot of people don't feel like um, their goals are anything that they can actually achieve. They look at it as just a thought and nothing further than that. So just have an opportunity to talk with them and, you know, get them to look at it in a different light. You know, it makes all the world a difference. So switching into IT, I think I needed a little bit of a push, uh, a little bit of that confidence that didn't necessarily come out of me. So my first impression with my computer career person was somebody who could come in and say, you know what, all you need is to decide that this is something that you can do and that you wanna do and you'll succeed in it. And also when I'm talking to them, they trust me. I mean, you know, you have to get that trust in there. And I do, I do. And you know, once they hear how we can help, they get excited. So we're both excited. And then I'm like, well, just come in for the consultation. They come in and next thing you know, they're taking classes, getting certifications and getting jobs in the IT industry. And I'm like, I had a part to do with that, so. I walked past the front desk and I heard one of the admissions directors say his name. And I was like, hey, I talked to him. So he walked out, we rode the elevator together, and you know, he just talked to him, he was really, really friendly. And I said, so I see you're starting out, you know, getting that career off the road. He said, yeah. And I asked him what his name was, even though I heard it, asked him what his name was. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he asked my name. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> so I give him my name. He said, did I talk to you? I said, well, actually you did. He said, you know what, Angela? He said, thank you so much. He said, if I had never spoken to you, if you had never followed up, followed up with me like you said you would, he said, I wouldn't be where I am today. The journey continues on campus when the prospective student arrives for their consultation and tour. Everything about the campus is designed to make a great first impression. The environment is clean, bright, open. We want campuses to feel inviting, transparent, vibrant. Locations are selected where people want to go. Real estate is chosen carefully to present a professional corporate or business atmosphere and mindset. The office administrator is the first person our prospect is likely to meet face to face so they have to embody the entire mission and culture of my computer career. We rely on them to project an attitude of friendliness, professionalism, optimism, and genuine interest and concern. I think probably the biggest impact on the student's journey at my computer career would be the encouragement aspect of it. Um, we get to be a part of that. There are days when they come in and they just are overwhelmed or whatever daily routine has gotten in their way has been an obstacle, we can work through that with them. We can listen, we let them vent, and at the end of the conversation, it's all about encouraging them and reminding them what their goals are and how wonderful it will be when they can look back and say, I accomplished this. Of course, the office administrator's involvement in the student's journey doesn't end at the first visit, or even when the student enrolls. That's really just the beginning. Uh, when I think about an office administrator, the first thing I think is world-class customer service. And that needs to be executed, whether it's for a student or whether it's for an internal, internal staff person. That office administrator sets the tone as soon as a prospective student walks in, or even a continuing student, an existing student that may walk in. You never know what that student is going through. And just to have that immediate positive impact by executing world-class customer service, 
that just sets the tone for a student and have a wonderful day here when they come to class or a prospective student when they come here for the first time and they're seeing our office, they're seeing what we are, what my computer career is all about. One of the, one of the admins, Brittany, who actually helped enroll me and actually showed me the campus, it's the same thing with her. There's never a day where she doesn't say hi, no matter how busy she is. She's always checking in, seeing how I'm doing, always say, hey, do you have any questions, any concerns, anything I can help you with? What, what makes them different from most campuses is that they show that they you know, genuinely care. They really care about you. They really care about your success. And we can say that's, that's very different from a lot, of, a lot of regular college campuses. When he was really having a hard time, they helped him so much that he stuck with it. So I appreciate that the most. So as time went on, that definitely that definitely made a big impact for me. Once the prospective student has come for a consultation, whether on campus or in the case of IDL, online, their primary guide through the pre-enrollment journey is the admissions director. The admissions team is really responsible for bringing that prospective student across the threshold of enrollment and welcoming them into our MyCC family. That involves a lot of challenging steps. Obviously, we have to inform the student about what we do at My Computer Career and how it will benefit them. But there's more to it than that. We have to uncover the goals and aspirations that are motivating their career change. We often help them overcome personal fears and apprehensions and resolve conflicts and concerns. Then we walk them through the process of finding and convincing co-signers, gathering documentation, and just staying the course through discouraging setbacks. It can take weeks, sometimes longer, and frankly, a lot just don't make it. So by this time a student enrolls, we've often been through a lot together. Literally every day, I get a reinforcement that our students are getting the material by that bell ring. And when that bell rings, that means that that student has now earned an additional certification. So I don't go in the authorized test center with that student, but when they ring that victory bell, I do view it as a small victory for myself because we were able to uphold our end in terms of educating that student, and they were able to go forth and earn that certification. As an admissions director at My Computer Career, um, I am here to walk people through the process. Um, I know for me, the hardest part of getting into school is just going through the process and really understand what you're getting yourself into. Um, so the first thing I do when you walk into one of our campuses is, is really explain what we do here and what we're trying to do for our students, um, but also help them through the process as far as you know funding and getting set up for classes and meeting with your instructors. Um, Everything that goes along with getting excited and ready, you know, to start this journey. Um, going back to school for anybody is a big step, so I'm just here to walk them through that process and help them out. I remember, I remember really thinking that uh, this can't, this isn't real. Like this, like this is, this is, this is going to be low. This is going to be low bar. This is going to be a joke. I really thought because because I was in graphic design before and so I did a lot of logos and things like that and your logo isn't like the craziest coolest you know <laughs> but it's it's kind of like very standard you know and so I, I was judging based on appearances and then I got there and uh, I met with some of the staff and some of the advisors kind of walked around very apprehensively I was just kind of you know on my guard expecting this to be you know like like you go and they like, try to sell your timeshare kind of feeling you know and so um, but I got in and I saw the labs, I saw the equipment that you guys were working with, I saw the teachers and the professionalism um, and just how skilled and how focused everyone was at their job and what they were there to do. And that's what really won me over. From the admissions, she, she answered all the questions, she had a packet that had every, every possible answer to any other question I might have. And then uh, through admissions, I mean, she knew her stuff, where to go, how to log in, what you needed to ask for, what you needed to fill out. It was, I almost didn't have to think about it, you know? And, and so that, that's what really won me over. And then when I... Success can be measured many ways. Um, it can be measured by how many students graduated. It can be measured by how many students received their certifications within the first month. What I've learned is that this journey for each individual person is just that. It's an individual journey.
One of the biggest challenges students face when enrolling is funding their education. We worked hard and it took a long time to qualify our school to participate with Title IV funding, GI Bill, and other state and federal financial aid options. And you know what? We have to keep working hard from a compliance standpoint to keep all of these options in place. Our financial aid team is tasked with matching students up with the funding they're qualified to receive and with supporting them through the application and approval process, which isn't always easy. Our team does a great job at making this process as smooth as possible for our students. I believe it can be a little nerve wracking uh, when you come to get information uh, with making a big career change. So having someone here to rest assured that, you know, they will come up with ways of covering the cost uh, is definitely what I'm here to try to do for the student to make that process as easy as possible. What I love most about my job is not the doing the back work of the financial aid documents. It's really for the students and seeing the change on them coming in and their situation. Maybe they're at a job that's not paying what they feel they could make and they have a family to support. And so I absolutely love seeing the success of students when they're here, especially when the bell goes off because you know firsthand that they just have to be so relieved in that it's just a ladder of achievement that they're going up. So I love to be a part of it. I think there's always bumps in the roads. And in my case, um, I did um, have an issue where I would stand on financial, um, but the, the staff here and the financial advisor made it an easy process um, to get me on board with the uh, uh, with the government aid and helping me through that process and telling me what I needed to do uh, in order to, to to get the right uh, finances in order. So they they made it real easy here for me to do that. Once our prospective student is enrolled, a new phase of the journey begins. We call it the onboarding journey. Once again, the admissions directors are front and center, but they're not alone. With their enrollment doc signed and their funding in place, the student's decision is complete. They're going to school, but it may be weeks before classes begin. This gap between enrollment and the first day of labs can be precarious. Many students experience doubts, second thoughts, even discouragement or criticism from others. Our job is to bridge the gap with meaningful interactions that keep students engaged and excited about the new future that awaits them. That's why we created the onboarding journey. It lasts from enrollment through the first two weeks of class. Frequent touches are built in to make sure that the student doesn't lose sight of his or her reason for enrolling and that they are ready to roll on the first day of labs. Instructor and Career Services NSIs are an important key to maintaining that engagement. And so is regular contact by the admissions director, educational staff, the new success coordinators for IDL, and others during this time. Instructor NSIs really set the tone for the student. We make sure they know what to expect and are as comfortable as possible with the process. We also want to be clear about what will be expected of them. And just as importantly, it's a great opportunity to start building a relationship with the student, to let them know that we really do care about their success. How can you not love getting students excited about what they're coming here to do? Like, that's what an NSI is, in my view. Um, you spend the whole time saying, yeah, it's going to be a lot of hard work, but you're going to have a lot of fun, you're going to learn a lot. Um, just get them like, you know, excited for it. I'm excited that they're coming to do it, so most of them are really excited too. This is an awesome opportunity for them, um, and it's, it's fun to see them coming in excited, which makes me excited for them, and then getting to see their success all the way through the process, through uh, my very first NSI person that I did um, after I got back to this campus, just took her first certification exam, and when I did her NSI, she was petrified. Not excited, petrified. She was just positive she was not gonna be able to do this. She knew it in her heart. She, you know, she was signing up for this, but she was not gonna be successful at it. And last Friday, she passed her first certification test, the MTA Mobility, and it was so exciting. 
Career Services NSIs are designed to let the student know that we are dead serious about getting them employed, right from the get-go. After all, that's what this whole program is about. We want them to understand that as long as they do their part, we'll be there for them, not just to help them get their first position, but throughout their entire career as an IT professional. During the NSI, we want to get a clear understanding of their professional goals and what is motivating them to succeed so we can build on that motivation. Some of the industries that I've worked in has been uh, computer technology schools, medical health care schools, and also cosmetology schools. And in these schools, technical placement was always at the end of the program. When I came to my computer career, career services was everything. It was done up front. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Once classes start, the active student life journey has begun. The instructor will play the most visible, most influential role throughout most of the students' on-campus or online education experience. But as we've seen before, success is not a solo act. Instructors typically spend more time with each student than anyone else, and based on attendance, grades, and class participation, are usually the first to know if a student's in trouble. But the instructor should never be the only one who bears this responsibility. Every person on campus has a vital role to play in helping each student stay the course and reach the goal they set out to achieve. One of my big issues with myself is that I don't push myself to go outside of my comfort zone. And the instructors here, they actually have pushed me to step into the testing room and to not be afraid of the computer with a certification test on it. Um, and for me, he actually took the time to realize that in me, so he was able to customize his response to my needs that way. Hey, you need to go into the testing room. Don't be afraid. Here, let me walk you up to the desk so you sign up. So he pretty much was pushing me outside of my comfort zone and that actually was beneficial. My role here is mini, really. It's, it's, it's definitely unique in the sense to where not only is it the teacher side, it's also the side of being the best cheerleader that, that one could have and then also being that dad figure like why are you not doing this or you need to come to school and and giving the proper motivation so there's a a huge huge spectrum of what we actually do here but fundamentally my role here is to ensure that the students take this ride and they not only take the ride but they take the ride to a place in which their dreams lead them and that's where we're all here you know that's why we're all here it's, it's what we're here to do, and it is, it's an amazing thing. The instructors were available to help. I mean, anytime a student wanted to learn, they would bend over backwards to, to give them whatever they needed to, to learn. They'd sit down with them one-on-one, -on -one, give them extra resources they could read or, or work on. I, I think my first course was uh, MTA window, uh, it was the uh, operating system fundamentals, and it was with Dana Thompson. It was great. He was so he's so alive, you know. When you, if you've ever met him, he's so characteristic and, and and just expressive and loud and fun. And so, being my first class, I was my first thought was like, I, I like this. This is where I want to be. A very large part of my job is ensuring they can handle the school along with their life's problems. Every instructor on campus knew my name, and I knew theirs, and you know it was very friendly environment all the time and if I needed something I didn't have to go to my own instructors. Um, whoever was available whether it be flex instructors or other students, other instructors that are there, I mean there were so many people who were totally willing to help. And when I say we I mean all of us as a team. What we do as a team, I don't have a job if I don't have them. It's just that simple. Uh, the ladies up front, I talk to my students when I'm doing the NSIs and I tell them, look, um, I don't expect you to be disrespectful to anybody, but it's personal if you mess with the ladies up front, because those guys keep this place running. These guys are doing seven things at the same time and still chatting with somebody, making them feel comfortable about coming here. It's unbelievable. The admissions guys, it's the reason why we always want to walk into the 
entire process when they're introducing new uh, potential students in here. Because we understand that one, this is not an easy job. How they do it is because they've got a talent that we need to actually nurture. They need to know that we are on their side and we do that for them. When it comes to our campus directors, it's the same thing. And I know it makes me sound like I don't like hard work, but I just appreciate when I see people work hard. And I see people work really, really hard around here. How they just coordinate, what, one, 200 students' problems every single day, phone calls, meetings, and everything else. It's almost impossible to even fathom when they have time for themselves. It's not easy. Some of these tasks they delegated to us every once in a while, and you're like, wow, you just made my day really full with these three tasks, and you do this every day? They do. So at the end of the day, I personally can't imagine this place without everybody who's been here. It takes every single person on that campus to make the dream work. We say teamwork makes the dream work, and it is the truth. The Career Services Directors really represent the culmination of the students' journey on campus. That's why I say they've got the best job in the organization. Their only job is to make sure each student fulfills the ultimate reason they've embarked on the voyage in the first place getting employed as an IT professional. Ideally, this happens even before the student graduates. But whether it does or not, career services will be a part of their life journey for a long time to come. Divided into two roles, eligibility and placement, career services has become the lifeblood of my computer career. Each success validates our entire program. And it's vital, not only that our students are getting great jobs, but that employers are happy with the students they hire. Because great students is what keeps them coming back for more. When I see things coming together for the students as they should, I'm elated because that means my computer career has accomplished its mission. We've got the students, the higher education, the IT certifications. IT is a phenomenal market that's only going to continue to press forward. But above and beyond, the heart of the matter is people are employed, doing things they love, making the income that sustains their family and gives them extra to enjoy the work-life balance. I see these students working so, so very hard. They work all day and they come to school at night. Uh, they have families and they're, they're very busy people and they have persevered. And what is the most rewarding thing for me is to know that I, I see them succeeding and that they have done it. And just to be a small part of that is a very, it, it's a wonderful feeling to be a part of such a great, great uh, system that um, it's working. These students come here, they uh, aren't sure of their decisions maybe, they're you know, anxious, and yet the step by step through this process, I get to see them grow and mature and become confident in themselves and they get these wonderful certifications and these jobs and it's, it's just simply rewarding for me to sit back to be a part of that and watch them feel so proud of their work and their effort. Yeah, Trisha, Trisha was great. The, the interview that I did for OSU Western Medical Center, we did a, Trish did a mock interview with me. She took, she took a, an hour and a half with me to go over the interview and every question that she told me they were going to ask, they did. And she gave me this portfolio and I had every answer right there. So when they asked me the question, I was able to flip to the page, I had the answer and it, it impressed them and it landed me in the job. Well, one of, uh, a couple of things that I do with employers specifically to help the students get job with the employers is I um, stay in touch with the employers on a weekly basis. I send um, emails of uh, hot candidates to the employers. I also uh, go out and visit sometimes the employers at least once or twice a quarter. Uh, I have career fairs on site for the employers to come to our campuses and view our, view our candidate pool, see our students and I take the resume and I sell it to the employer. 
So if the employer is looking for someone with great customer service skills, I take my hottest, you know, five to 10 uh, students, and then I will take those resumes with me and go over and talk to an employer about those specific students. Employers like that because they want to know that I know the students, and that's what we do here at, at My Computer Career. We really get to know the student, get to know their background, and how it's going to match up with that job. And the ultimate goal is to get them to grow within the field. And so we do look at ways of um, making sure that they grow as well. So I do help out graduate students um, as well as current students that are in the school. But I've been super impressed with the career services people uh -huh. as well. Just understanding what I need and getting me the right people, giving me good quantity too out of the school every year. It's been, they've been unbelievable to work with from Jennifer when she was in Indianapolis right. at, um, through um, I guess Lakita and Turkia, right. my last two. They're willingness to help you know they're friendly they're they want to see their students succeed they want to see us succeed and they're just they're just outstanding the job placement person that's in charge whoever was in charge at the time will they, they are always on top of it they're they're emailing you they're calling you texting you know you give me your phone number they're willing to text you and hey i got an opportunity for you you know and, 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 let's they, take advantage and they still of do that which i find really cool because you know you know he already had a good job and they they knew that and they still will email yeah, and say, hey, so cool. you know, if you're still interested, we've got this come open. So we, we were like, wow, there's a lot of room for growth because you're not, it's not like where he was before, like you get the job and you stay there. No one's really looking out for you, but I was like, they're like still looking out for him even though he's done, which is really cool. And at graduation, the greatest thing is to see their families come and see how proud their children are and how proud that grad is standing up there looking out at their children and knowing that they are setting a great example. It's just overwhelmingly uh, emotional to sit there and, and be a part of this whole atmosphere. Of course, there are a lot of other people behind the scenes that help facilitate the student's journey. Campus directors and assistant campus directors make sure that all parts of the machine are working together to create the best possible experience for each student while they're on campus. So our team effort, uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's, uh, there's so many moving parts. There's so many moving parts to each individual student. I have a great staff that is capable of instructing our students and, uh, and helping them start their careers and to all the details of what they need here. So really, I'm probably the person that's least needed on this campus. Um, but what I do find myself doing most of the time is talking to the students, understanding their struggles, why they came here, why this is important to them, what, what brought them into our school in the first place, and helping them find that motivation uh, to make something positive here while, and, and, and improve their life in a significant way. Uh, we really make sure that our students know that we are here to serve them and to make sure that they get everything out of this education that they need. Um, sometimes what they need is, are the tough conversations. And so sometimes they need a, you know, someone to say, you will get through this. You need to make sure this homework is done. <laughs> you need to, you know, take that, get in that certification room. Um, so whether it's to be their cheerleader along the way or to, you know, be that stern mother figure that's making them get it done, um, it's we. I'm very much involved with the entire student journey. I think where we do best is we hold them accountable. We don't let them off the hook. We hold them accountable. They came to us for a reason. They said, hey, this is what I want to do for my child. This is what I want to do because this is where I want to be in the next 10, 15 years. Well, guess what, buddy? We're going to get you there, but we're going to hold you accountable to that. And we do that by having a plan for them. Life is going to happen. They can't escape it. Things are going to happen. So we proactively plan for it ahead of time and we make it happen. That's probably one of my favorites is hearing that bell and to hear about the jobs and our, you know, how our career services department, our, our Trisha and our Taylor, and I couldn't ask for a great team to work with. You know, our office administrators, how, you know, every one of them are great at acknowledging each student when they come on campus. A student comes up to me after the career fair and says, Josh, I need Tim's phone number. 
My first reaction was like, I asked him for Tim's personal cell phone number. And uh, I was like, oh, well, what can I help you out with? He said, I, I need to talk to Tim. He was very concerned. I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, I came in for the career fair. I was all decked out and I forgot my belt. Tim took off his belt and gave it to me. When he told me that, I first was like, that is awesome. He took his belt off for a student and gave it to him. And the student wanted to return it. Perhaps the most unique aspect of my computer career is that we don't see graduation as the end of our students' individual quests. It truly is a new beginning. There will be job changes and new certifications to earn. Employees often become employers, hiring a new generation of my computer career students. And some even come full circle to join the MyCC team. These possibilities are all part of that new beginning we call the commencement journey. It uh, kind of came to be that I actually started out as a student here. Um, I started my journey with my computer career sitting in the same chairs that the students sit in. Sitting in a classroom, listening to an instructor go through all the lessons to get my certifications. Uh, prior to coming here, I, I'd been quite successful in IT and had quite a good life in it but uh, to the point that I was able to basically just be a dad for a few years. And it got to the time where my son hit middle school and it's less cool to hang out with dad and I got a little bored. So I needed to get my certifications and came in uh, to do that. Towards the end of my time here, started looking at different opportunities and uh, had some rather rewarding ones waiting for me, which I chose to choose a different rewarding path and uh, was entertained to be an instructor, to pass the knowledge and the experience that I had prior to, to my computer career on to students. And took that opportunity to uh, be able to give back. And along the way, uh, spent time as an instructor working with students in the classroom setting and, and also outside of the classroom, to the point that I started getting involved with many other parts of the campus. And the natural uh, evolution was that I ended up as an assistant campus director today. The commencement journey is an area that I'm especially excited about as we move forward. Already this year, we've begun blazing a trail to re-engage graduates from as far back as our very first cohort in 2008 to make sure they receive the lifetime career services they were promised. This isn't entirely new, but we're now taking it to a whole new level. We'll soon hold our very first online refresher course for graduates who aren't working in IT or perhaps have stalled in their career progression because they didn't get key certifications. This will be offered free of charge. Who does that? With this course, they'll be able to revive their skills and certify so they can get their careers moving again. In addition, Dedicated career services directors and success coordinators will proactively offer job placement support and help them move on and move up. Additionally, we're creating a community for alumni where they can network, share resources, find job opportunities, and continue to interact with us and each other. Of course, we expect that many of these graduates will want to take advantage of the additional courses we now offer with the ITSE, ITSS, and associate's degree programs. Taken together, these services will help all of our students progress and grow in their IT careers as never before. And that's a journey we all want to be a part of. Finally, I think the real uniqueness of my computer career and our special strength is our feeling of family. Like a family, we care about all of our students and about each other. We rejoice in one another's successes and commiserate in disappointment and defeat. But we don't just care for a few months while our students are on campus. Like a family, we care for a lifetime. And we work together to make each student's journey the success it was intended to be. I think they're real friendly in a way that they support you like family. They don't see you as just the money object. They see you as an individual trying to make a life. We go above and beyond the mark and that's what sets us apart. I think the family nature of, of the way that the students and the, the faculty and support members interact with one another was 
was something that I honestly didn't expect. I expected. And we just all, you know, we just all take care of the students. That's what we're here for. If I had to say one thing about the way that my computer career is set up is they set you up to succeed. What's different about my computer career is we're always striving for perfection. One of my favorite parts has been the positivity of the entire staff. It's, it's huge. It's huge what we're doing here. I'm not trapped anymore. I'm free. Thank you again for all you do every day to make this marvelous adventure in changing lives possible for all of us.